Today I'm going to show you how to make clove oil. The first step is to grind one tablespoon or six grams of fresh whole cloves in a spice grinder, coffee bean grinder or a mortar. Look at the expiry date to ensure you're not buying cloves that were dried for a few years prior. You can tell a clove by its fresh, sharp, strong smell. Right, the next step is you want to grind whole cloves rather than using ground cloves because ground cloves deteriorate quickly. Number two, cut out a circle in the center of a large coffee filter. The diameter should be about three inches, that's about six and a half centimeters. You will use this smaller piece of filter to hold the cloves. Next, cut a piece of cotton string. It should be about four inches, that's about 10 centimeters long, or long enough just to tie the knot. Use a spoon to scoop up the ground cloves and place them in the center of your coffee filter. Number three, pinch the sides of the coffee filter circle up to make a little sachet. Tie the ends closed with your piece of string, or you can buy pre-made sachets if you want to, they're pretty inexpensive. And number four, pour half a cup or 118 millilitres of olive oil into a small jar like a jam jar. Place the small bag of grain cloves into the oil jar. Shake the jar lightly to make sure it is completely submerged. Number five, tear a small piece of aluminium foil to create a lid. Wrap the foil around the top of the jar and then push the foil below the rim to create a convex lid. This will keep the oil or steam from escaping when you heat it. Number six, heat water in a double boiler on the stove. If you do not have a double boiler, then heat water in a large pot and place another slightly smaller pot inside it. Allow the water to boil. Place the jar into the top section of the double boiler or in a small pot. The picture on the screen shows a sachet inside the pot, but obviously you would place the jam jar with the foil on top inside the pot there. Number seven, let the jar sit in the double boiler and heat for about 45 minutes. The steam from the double boiler will help the clothes analgesic properties release into the oil. Take the jar of oil out of the double boiler, place it in a safe place at room temperature. Number eight, Allow the clove oil to sit with the cloves inside for about one week. The longer you allow the cloves to sit inside the oil, the stronger the oil will be. After a week or maybe longer, you can remove the clove sachet. You can then use an eyedropper to apply a few drops of clove analgesic on the cotton ball. Dab it on the sore gums or painful closed wounds. If you would like more information on clove oil, or after seeing this you just prefer to buy some instead then please click on the link now and it will take you to a website article that I've written that will give you much more information on clove oil. I would also just like to briefly end and just give you a bit more information on how you can use clove oil and that is before prescription painkillers were available clove oil was used as a dental remedy to soothe and numb the gums when they were found inflamed in studies conducted by the Journal of Dentistry, they found that clove oil successfully numbed tissue before an injection. Clove oil is rich in vitamin C, potassium, iron, phosphorus, calcium, sodium and vitamin A. It is used as a home remedy in a number of applications such as gargling with an oil solution to cure bad breath or sore throats and help with styes, earache, bruises, indigestion, just to name a few. Although you can acquire the oil in some natural food stores, you can also make a batch at home with a few household ingredients and clothes as I've just shown. So if you would prefer to make it or just buy it, either way I hope this video has been of help. Thanks for watching and bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel as well. Thanks.